so last time we got here so the transition passed and then the truck went away so you can see that the truck after the transition passes by the truck and the score goes away so now I have a blank canvas to start working with I added the game over text over it like this with the taco and then I animated them on the scale and the position to push them up and make them smaller so I can make a title out of them so can be not the so uh, now we just need to add the details to all the players that are playing so a key kill player and or the position tabula so it's gonna be from one to five and each position has a corresponding player that's playing and a score so it's gonna we're gonna have three columns basically and five rows so to do that I'm just going to press page down on the keyboard just to go frame by frame and then this is where I need to start adding the rows so this is where so I'm going to click right here on game over so game over one I'm gonna just start writing underneath it okay so I'm going to press on the text right here so the text tool on top press here and then say first enter second enter third enter fourth and then fifth, fifth. okay so I have this now here now with the character panel open uh, I can reduce the font size a little bit so probably 115 is good and I can increase the spaces between each element using the leading right here on the right side so I can just increase the leading like this it's good and then I can just drag this and place it anywhere I want so I'm gonna make sure that it's aligned in the center like this and then now I just press click and hold shift and drag it to the left side a little bit so somewhere around here okay and the jam is button so I need to change the colors now so to change the colors I'm just gonna make sure that I'm on the selection tool double click right here and then double click on the first one so our element via and then with the character panel open I just click on this eyedropper tool I can select any color that I want as you can see for the top left you can see that I can change the colors I'm gonna select this yellow color right here so that's the first one the second one is going to be uh, this red color right here so let me just select that the third one is going to be this green color right here so I'm just picking from the taco and then the fourth one is going to be a yellow again and then I'm just going to do a red one more time so I'm just yellow red green yellow red okay so that's the heck hat going and now I'm just going to duplicate this one because I want to add uh, a one next to it which contains the scores so ctrl D is going to press and just press hold shift and then drag to the right side I'm gonna make sure it's aligned at the center so right here and then here but develish اكتب السكور سو كان الفاينل سكور نحن تبعولنا بقلب السكور كاونتر ات واز 11760 سو هيدا كان السكور تبعولنا اي جاست ذات واز ذا وان هلا بنرجع بنشيك اند ذن ذا سكند وان ايم جاست جوينغ تو ميك ات سمولر ذان ذا فيرست وان سو راندوم سو 11234 ذات وان از جوينغ تو بي 10986 ذن ذس وان 10482 ليتس سي this one 10138 so now when I'm done I just click hold shift and then drag it to the right side so I can leave a small gap between them so I can make some more space and then this one I can just do that and then uh, if I just want to align it align it to the center actually no I don't want to align it to the center I want to leave it like this and the last one uh, I'm going to have the initials so ctrl D press click keep holding shift and drag it to the left side here Hello. this is where I want to start adding the initials so the first one is going to be my initials okay and we can just go random something like that so that's the initial name initials so I'm just doing them random okay whatever so I'm just going to click hold shift and drag it to the left side shway because I want them to be the even at bottom one so hello they're, they're offset a little bit so I'm gonna select everything in one so this one this one and this one I'm gonna center them the center right here 
Actually, no, I don't want to do that. I want to select this one best, the score. So the score, I'm going to center it right here. And then I'm going to center everything around it. So in this case, that's the first one. Press and drag this shway to the left side. And then this one, I'm going to drag it shway to the right side. Okay, so you have the effect now. Now I want to start animating them just like game over, so you can see that game over like from cut up. Anyway, come in like we keep in bane water, so they're mojudin the score day on sort of water, so we want to fix that. So right here, we want to start, we want to remove them. Okay, so the score tab on actually these three right here. Like all the sliders that are on the red ones, they're going from second zero to second thirty. So I wanna make them a little bit smaller, and to start only from this, from this layer at the board. So I can just press on the on the keyboard the right, uh, the left bracket, the curly bracket, like this. So I just drag it to the left, like we keep saw it. So I'm gonna do it again, like this, and then this one, like this, and then this one, left bracket. So a side one, basically, I clipped them. So now. بس ببينه من بعد هيدا الانيميشن بدها تخلص اوكي سو ذير ستارتنج فروم هير بيسكلي سو بدي اعمله از ايم جوينج تو اد ديكودر افكتس اند بريسيتس رايت هير سو ايم جونا جو رايت ديكودر اف اي كان رايت ذات ديكودر فيد ان سو ايم وانا ابلاي ذيم تو ذا انتايرتي اوف ذا ثري كولمز سو ايم جست جوينج تو دراج ذيس ديكودر فيد ان تو ذا فيرست وان فيرست سكند اند فورث سو اكتفيت هون بس بيسكلي هي ات دينت اكشلي go away it actually writing it's decoding we decode it like this so mamit she basically he effect so i'm gonna press you on the keyboard you can see that i have a start and end and this is being animated the start position so i want to make that way slower so to do that i'm just gonna select the last keyframe and drag it in like this so now start and cut up asra okay now this is going way too fast let's make it slower a little bit something like this Clear start slow. Okay, whatever. This is good. Okay, so this is the first one. Then cut up like this. Now I want to do for the rest of these. Now I'm just going to offset this a little bit. So I'm going to offset this to even the hone. So ma bit bein gher hone. So what the belish tuchlas heide bit bein heide. And this is the same way hone kamen. So ma ba tuchlas heide. Yeah, to finish on. So it's really about the same distance between each of them. So I'm just offsetting. Every one of them is finished. And this is where I need to add the decoder horn as well. Okay. So now I just press U on the keyboard. You can see that finished from here. I'm just going to drag that in like this. Okay. So let's watch that. Okay. Time for the last one. So the last one is right here. I'm going to. Add that to the final one, and I'm gonna open up this panel right here. Press U on the keyboard, and just reduce that. So I'm just eyeballing it. It's nothing too precise. Okay, so we have this effect now. I mean, katabawara baadun. Now, I want to add another sentence to it, which is player one enter your initials because. Basically, that's what they ask you in an arcade. Like, please enter your name when you get the high score. So I'm just going to press on the selection tool, press on this one, the initial is one. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Now I have a second one, so I can just basically drag it, double click Kalaya, and press backspace. So now I can write player one, enter initials. Okay. So basically, I'm just I just wrote that in. I'm gonna make it as white, and I'm just going to align it to the center of the screen, Tavolte, and just press and drag this down. I'm gonna place it right here. Perfect. Okay. So now, but the yeah, Mishko na tiktub nafs el waad because they go when I'm tbelli shayde. So this is actually good. But ha akhir a shway baad something like this. So now let's go ahead and play that. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to delay it a little bit more, so somewhere around here. Okay, so player one enter your initials, and you can't ask the player one to enter their initials if the initials are already entered. So you have to actually work around that. Now let me show you a way to do that. 
بدي يكون فاضي هون space تا وقت اليوزر يكتب اوكي سو ام جوينج تو جو انتو ذس وان سو اف اي جي جي كي اس وات ايفر ان ذس سكشن رايت هير جوينج تو وذ ذا سيلكشن تول دبل كليك اون ات دبل كليك اون ذا فيرست وان اند جاست بريس ديليت اوكي ناو اكشلي نقط اكثر سو اي جاست وانا كوبي ذات اند بريس ديليت سو ناو محيط اول وحده اي دونت هاف ذا فيرست انشر ناو ام جوينج تو دوبليكيت ذات سو ام جوينج تو بريس كنترول دي اون ذا كيبورد تو دوبليكيت ات ناو اي هاف تو لايرز Of the same column, so I've been cut up for one of the net. So right here, when the player one enter initials is done, right here, this is where I want to enter the initials. So I just press on this one, not on the first one, on this one. Selection tool selected, double click on top of it, and just right here, F A J. So now basically, it's hard as if I play that. I'm going to have to delay this a little bit because it's a put on a tiny column right here, and I press U. You can see these are my keyframes, but the other one should so something like this. Okay, so shift to given cut a bit by then basically. So that's that's the way it's done. You can delay. I met up and cut up. So basically, as I'm talking of here, these are all just two columns for Badun. One has the name. And one does not. So all she would be the one that does not have a name, and then the second one, which is gonna start here, right here. This is where the initials are going to be written out. Hello, I'm gonna make it faster, sure. Actually, no. Let's make it slower, sure. Okay. So I mean, كتبوا هلا الكلمات هنا. So now we're done with the screen, but we have to transition to the first frame. لأنه بدنا نعمل a loop. We have to make it make the animation loop. Okay. So to make the animation loop, the very last frame has to be the same as the first frame. يعني this is the first frame of the video تبعته مثل إذا the screen. So this is the first frame. هيك بكون شكله. And then the last frame, آخر شيء لازم تكون نفس الشيء مثل أول شيء. So hold on, I'm going to just make this a little bit bigger. 16 seconds to show when, but so bit the initial stability, and then hold on, but the loop. على على the first frame أرجع because I want the first frame to be the last, the same as the last frame. So this is where with the loop أرجع كله. So here, this is where I have to make the transition pass. So I'm gonna wait a couple of frames. So five frames, they're good. And I'm going to transition again. Now I already have the transition right here. Transition. So I'm gonna press Control D alaya. So I have another one. I'm gonna take it to the top. Hatta for the player initials, something like that. So now I have another transition. This transition transition is starting from here. So basically, I'm gonna see the same transition. I'm gonna go up and down, not straight. So I'm gonna see the other one. Here, let's say. So right here. So I'm just going to take that and place it right here. So now, if I play that, so that's the first transition. Write out everything like that, and then that's the second transition. Now, what about the second transition? But the shield kill shield alba. So I'm gonna delay that a little bit. But the shield kill shield on the screen. I want to remove everything from the screen. Now, to do that, what about the transition? So basically, here, or to be cut, to remove all the shield. Going to select player initials. Hold Shift and select this one. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So I selected all the screen, basically. And now if I do is I can just press on the brackets on the left curly bracket right next to the enter. So like you give a side them. So I just a side on all of So now actually no, I don't want it from that way. I want it from. I want it to happen. Okay, so I want it to happen not from this way, from that way. So that's why I need to press. On the right bracket, so right here. But to to not let that happen, but the machine fin here, I want to hold Alt on the keyboard and press that. So like we give a slider, kind of like I slice them. So now after the transition passes by, ma fi shiba. So I kind of cut them. Is that a shame here? Like we give a sina. So now let's play that. Game over. First transition. I tried to maintain. I cut off all the shiba. Okay, so I cut off all the shiba now. Now it's time to. نفس 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 كيف بلشت أول فريم، so basically this is the first frame and started here. 
So with the other one, the So in the first frame, I have the taco truck in this position and the the score. Okay. So hello, I'm going to go down. I'm going to search for the taco truck. So in this case, the taco truck is uh, right here. So I'm gonna duplicate this. So Control D. So I have another one. I'm gonna press on it and then take it up and place it right over the transition, right here, or underneath transition. It's fine. So that's the first taco truck. And then I'm gonna duplicate the score. So the score. So I'm gonna go to the next one. And then I'm going to just do that. I'm going to drag the taco truck from here to here. So with the ABIN on it, Belish. And then the score next to it. So with the ABIN on it. So now like, but still, I'm going to do an animation. I don't want it to animate, but I just want it to be the shape of it. So I'm going to go into Taco Truck, press B on the keyboard, and turn this off, and then Score, press U on the keyboard, and then turn this off. So now they're not animating, but you know they're there. So now, if we just watch that. So you can see our transition to the hella. We hit the score, kello. So the score is big tall, and then to cut it, there's a mistake here. There's a mistake. I'm going to cut it very fast in the transition. So I need to delay the transition a little bit. So I need to delay the transition to here. To explain the name, and then this is where I need to place the score and the taco truck right here. Okay, so come on, the issue is that on and like commission by and she. So this is where I need to actually what's it called? But they were still on the horn, so I need to do that. Let no fi gap between both of them. We don't want that gap. We want to make them a little bit longer to fill the gap. And that one. So now. So all of them are not all the same, but it's a little bit different. Whatever. So let's just zoom in a little bit here, so we can have a better, so we can be more precise, basically. So this one is right here, this one is right here, this one is right here, this one as well, and this one as well. Okay. So I just zoomed in to show the difference. So now they're the same size. I'll take the transition. Okay, and then this is where I need to add the truck. So horn solid. So that's the taco truck, and that's the score right here. Perfect. Okay. So خفى شوي لأنه كان في عندي غلطة عم ينكتب ال عم ينكتب وكانوا الانشال زو أتى عم تقطع الترانزيشن. So I didn't want that. So I just delayed everything that day مشوي. So to have this effect now. So now let me just zoom in to show you that button. At button. Okay, perfect. So now I have this video right here. I'm gonna cut it at 14 seconds. So I'm going to so transition bit see here, and then this is where I wanna cut it. So I can press N on the keyboard to reduce my work area, or I can just I press it and drag it like this manually. Okay, so now it started to close, and then like we keep started transition. So basically, we're gonna watch from here, and then transition, but loops back. Let's just keep having it loop back. We're not saying anything, because the first frame is the same as the last frame. Okay, so let's not spend time by that activity here. So we have that here. We finished the screen. So congrats. Someone cares. Okay, so we finished this the screen now. Now, as I remember, the first time we started basically the the project is that we placed screen inside of the Taco Tuesday file. So it's right here. So everything happening on screen is happening here because I have the composition in my timeline. So like I'm going to be circling it. But there's something wrong. That the screen I built is way off. I mean, we're in the middle, so it's behind a little bit. مش سيء على السكرين وتلوكس فلات، so I need to fix that. so there's something called inside of After Effects that's called CC Power Pen. so CC Power Pen. so 
uh, CC Power Pen actually lets you play Shui in 3D, the perspective. So I'm just going to drag CC Power Pen onto screen right here. So you can see that I have CC Power Pen right here. Okay, so I want to fix that. So I'm just going to select Hone and I'm going to uh, just work around with the CC Power Pen right here. And there's no need to animate anything, but I need to fix that. I want to I'm going to press on screen, go to align, and make sure it's aligned in the center of the composition. So so kind of like this so i just align it to the center and uh, time to fix this okay so to fix this i'm just going to press on power pin and if i don't have the pivot points enabled i can't see them and it's important for pivot points all i have to do is press Control shift h on the keyboard so you can see now the pivot points tabulate i can play around with the amlo is i can just play around with each pivot point like if i can distort it make it 3d a little bit so the amlo is i can just press on hold shift and drag it down i'm gonna drag this down at the all the screen من هون. the same in hand made so i'm gonna click press shift and drag this in hand made Hello. The problem is that like with sides, it's not uh, working properly. I need to set up on our sides order. So to do that, I can just click right here, hold shift and drag it in this way. At the next she hone, click hold shift and then drag it like this. So that gives up the. Hello. Kamal, بعد ما مشكلة زابطة. I need to fix it a little bit. And then next she من هون. So I'm going to click on this, hold shift and then drag it. Next she من this point. Click, hold, shift, and drag it from this way. And then I just put a shame for. So I'm just kind of like mimicking the perspective tabula. Okay, they tell the effect tabula. Okay, so now if I go back, you can see that. It's like on the screen. I know. نحنا ما تذكروا إنه لا يكون كيف ال perspective تبعونا شوفوا هاد two lines. So it's not straight. It's actually bending down. That's the screen, that's how it works. So we need to mimic that. So now let's go to the text to see. So it looks perfect. So like keep the text it's like a, it's like on the screen. Now and the Kaza Galta the first the screen tabulte shakla tier the way I can fix that in the uh, at the end of the project, so no need to amala hella. So echir shi otan khalis bzapota. And one more thing is that player initial is a lot of mahal, but no, it's fine. It's fine. It's not gonna matter. But if she's a judge now, she is basically the score. Like a score, we know, but right the screen. So I need to fix that. So to do that, I'm just gonna go back to screen, and time to play around with the score counter, the first one and the second one. So that's the first one right here. That's the first score counter. I'm just going to drag the position. So I'm gonna drag this to the right side and then drag it to the left uh, downside right here, the bottom. And then بتطلع هون you can see that صارت أحسن شوي بس إنه كمان بدي نقصها شوي like this so بدي حطها على top left like this so this is good okay so the position is twenty two hundred twenty six and one one and one one four one fourteen بس المشكلة is when I go بالأخير ليكو بعدها وين بعدها هيدا so I need to fix that so I need to fix that so right here is two hundred twenty six one fourteen so right here it should be 226 and 114 so now we can loop it and play it right here so right here so now we can loop it and play it right here it's fine اخذ وقت لانه في كثير فاكتور ارتس بقلب السين تبعتنا اوكي سو ناو اتس جونا كيب لوبينج لانه بيسكلي وات وي ديد از هنا هون سو اول وي هاف تو دو از اكشلي ان هي هون ذس كيس سو اون سكند 12 رايت هير سو اذا نرجع ناخذها لهون اند وي دو ذات او اتس رايت هير سو ام جونا بريس ان اون ذس فريم رايت هير And then it's gonna repeat seamlessly. My my way in shift there actually. Okay. Can you show Skype? Is that how to say it? So nope. Okay. So give me a second.
Okay, so I have this now, but uh, I need to animate the outer parts of the, of the. I need to animate the joysticks and the buttons, but okay. So when we're gonna do the joystick, next time we're gonna do the buttons. We're gonna fix the screen, fix the screen effect, make the animation loop, and then export it. So we have about three and a half days. We have about fifteen twenty minutes. So here I'm gonna record. Uh, if you wanna stick around and watch it with me and do it with me, it's fine. Okay, but do you feel or mustajid? They can do that as well. Okay, so now with the animal animation, the the joystick. So if you just watch the video, talk or use the video, you can see that the buttons and the joysticks are being animated. So I need to animate them. And then ah, I forgot. Tuesday we're gonna do the camera command. So we need to zoom in using the camera. So it's gonna be fun. I know we're gonna use, we're gonna learn how to use the camera tool. Okay, so. خلاص خلصنا بيسك ما عنا غير الزوم تبعول الكاميرا the effect على السكرين ونز ونعمل animation تبعول ال buttons okay so simple كتير so we need to animate so to animate that we're gonna use the Taco Tuesday file and not the screen file screen خلاص نسي نسيناها بيسكلي let's just close that up and close the transition up and leave the Taco Tuesday so now everything on the screen is present هلا so all we have to do is just animate them I'm gonna zoom in using Control Plus zoom in like that and time to animate the joysticks the joystick one joystick okay so based on the movements of the truck I need to animate the joystick about it so in this case uh, the first thing that happens is that the truck moves okay so I need to wait for the first movement of the truck so I'm ready to start the truck ah, the truck so I'm going to do so I'm going to start أنا عندي على one second eighteen frame. so أول ما بلش الترك I need to start animating the joystick. هلا to animate it in three D like it's kind of warping in three D. I need to use the power pen as well. so I'm just gonna make sure that I have CC power pen هون searched and then drag it and place it on the joystick. so in this case it's right here. so I placed a joystick right here. now I wanna animate only the top left and the top right. okay لأنه إذا بيجي بعمل هيك ليك وكيف I can distort it. So I can create this effect that it's going backwards and forward. So I animated both. So صار في اشتغل من هون هلا في اجي اكبس على joystick press U on the keyboard and you can see that I have the top left and the top right being animated. Now I can open the rotation command tabula because I want to work with the rotation. I can keep holding shift on the keyboard and press R. So I just add the rotation to my to my things that are being animated now and I can press on it right here so I'm animating the top left the top right inside of CC power pen and the rotation of the entire object now I want to I don't want to rotate the pivot point from here I want to do a rotation like that basically I want to do like that we can just do it from here I want to do like that I don't want to rotate from the center I want to rotate from underneath from here right here so all I have to do is to move the pivot point is just go to this pen behind and just uh, go to the pivot point press on it hold shift and drag down and place it right where it ends so kind of right here okay so now I can rotate it like this okay so now I have the rotation the top left and the top right what the Imsha after effects okay, let's just save أنا راح شغلنا كله بيسكلي إذا راح so I just save so I'm animating all of these now this is where the truck begins and I want to go where the truck ends the movement okay so and they basically four movements I have the first one going up going down going back and going up again so four movements the first movement is right here so one two three four five I'm just going forward in time just to see where the truck stops moving so in this case it stops moving at this point right here so I'm just going to press on all of these so I have the keyframes so nothing is moving basically on the joystick and now here we're gonna take a convention because we're playing with an arcade when you press on the button or the joystick it's gonna take more time to what's going to happen on the screen when you press on the joystick there's gonna be a delay between the joystick and what's on the screen because that's how it works Okay, so I'm just going to wait the one four frames between the first one. So I'm going to just press page down one, two, three, four times. So I rub it four times basically. And now this is where I need to start making the input. So to do that, 
التراك عم بيروح طلوع عليك وكيف سو اي نيد تو بوش ات تو ذا رايت سايد اند ام جونا روتيت ات تو ذا رايت سايد تو اد ذات افكت 1 2 3 4 اوكي سو ان ذس كيس رايت هير ام جوست جوينج تو دو ذات سو ليك وكيف اتس وورپينج سو ام جوست جونا وورپ ات لايك ذات ام جونا وورپ ات ذس واي ناو اوكي سو ليك وكيف اي كريتد ذس افكت هصغرها شويه بعد سو سمثينغ لايك ذس Okay, now I'm going to click on the selection button and just press on the top, hold shift and drag it down, kind of like this. So I okay, know it's bending backwards and then I want to rotate it. So let's rotate it something like five. Uh, so like from here, Shakla. So five angles to the right. And then all I have to do is just take these, press Ctrl C. Go back four frames. So for frames and press Ctrl V. So I just copied and pasted them. So now I'm having this effect. Hello, uh, going to press B on the keyboard. It limits my workspace and N on this side. So now it keeps looping between this and this. Hello, in this case, I want to change the keyframes tabulated from static to basically easing in and easing out. Okay, so hello, it's here much smoother the animation. So it's gonna be something like this. So like okay, if I'm pushing the joystick down and backwards, they get to the top and the right. Okay. So this is the first one. Now time to do the second one. So the second movement. So the second movement starts from here. Okay. So it starts from here. I'm just looking at the truck. So it starts from. So that's the frame. So I'm going to add these keyframes, Erja, and this is where it starts to go down and right. So, but the Erja, I want to see animation. So I need to wait for it to do the last thing, so I can know the distance between when it starts and when it ends. So in this case, so I think it ends on. So it ends right here. Okay. So I'm just going to place these again. So. And then go four frames that damn right here. So one, two, three, four right here. And then this is where I need to start warping it again. So this time it's go. This time it's going downwards, right? So if it's going downwards, it's going kind of a bit push joystick that damn it. So it's kind of I'm pushing the joystick towards me. So when I push something towards me, it gets bigger. So that's why I need to work around with this one. So heck, it's animated now. So let's just make it broader like this. And broader from this side, so can I add a little bit? Right here, and I want to because it's going to the right side. I need to put T15. So it's kind of like I'm rotating to the right side and pushing it towards me. So like we keep start checkla. Hello, we need to move a little bit, I guess, because it's too much. Can I add a little bit? So kind of like this. So, whoop! It's going towards me, and now I can just Control C these, and then go to the last frame. One, two, three, four. Control V. So now let's watch that. Okay. So like, okay, it's pushing towards me. Sorry, no. So Control S to save. Now time for the last two movements. So the last two movements, I'm gonna make this bigger, shall we? So. To a funny way, and then it starts going backwards. So it has to keep turning to the right side. So here, when it starts to turn to the right, we have to work with that. So it starts to turn to the right from here. So I just press on all of these to hold the keyframes, and now it's gonna go backwards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So here. نفس الشيء I'm just gonna hold all of these so هون من هيدا الانترفيل بين هول الكي فريمز هول الكي فريمز عم ترجع لورا so I need to push the joystick to the left side بس مش كتير لأنه it's going على مهلة هون كتير I'm pushing it لأنه لكي كيف عم تنزل عم تنزل من ميلة لميلة تانية هون عم ترجع شوي so I need to push it less so in this case I'm just going to press one two three four that's the convention basically اللي عم نعتمدها نحنا four frames between the main pose and 
what's happening on the other side. So in this case, okay, don't do that. Hita and suicide. Okay, so I need to just redo that. Okay, so right here. So this is where it ends. So I'm going to keep the name them on Erja. And then one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm going to uh, just push these like this because it's going to the left side a little bit. And this one. So that's good, actually. And then I'm going to press it on the left side a little bit. Akid Mishkir. So let's say something like minus three. So it's tilting a little bit. Probably less. So let's go with minus two. And then take these. Control C. One, two, three, four. So right here. So like this. Perfect. Now we keep Kabasit Ma'a, he or Iha, and then. If it's on but uh, like if it's like one motion, so the third movement it's going backwards and then it goes up directly. So actually, I don't need these. So if he amlo is, I can just go directly to the last frame, which is right here. So echir frame can it on So right here, so I can now key everything right here, and then this is where I need to actually start pushing from this side so right here so on to the right side so that's why I'm going to do that push it to the right side of course with this okay push it to the right side push this also to the right side okay and then I'm going to push this to three or four let's say four degrees to this side so it's intuitively going to be a bigger angle so like this so it's just going to go like this okay because this keyframe right here it should be safra so basically is a nekhod awal pose so control c go to this one control v so okay so ليكو تراك كيف عم تحرك وليكو كيف الجويستيك عم تحرك معه اوكي سو بيسكلي اخر فريم هون اتس بوشينج لايك ذات سو ليكو في عم عم بوشينج ات قبل سو اي نيد تو ستارت بوشينج ات فروم هير اكشلي اوكي So we don't want to go into too much details. I know it's going to be really fast. Uh, the animation is going to be fast, Ekhirshi. So okay. So let's animate the buttons now. Actually, so if we can look at the buttons right here, we can see that we're pressing the button each time we shoot. So we're just pressing the button. Okay. So uh, simple. So the button is right here. So I'm gonna close that up and make it like that. So the button is being pressed this one each time uh, each time the taco is being shot out. So so in this case, this is where we're shooting the taco, right? So like to give it. So this is where I need to press on the button right here. So that's the one. So I'm just going to press P on the keyboard and you can see that. I can press it up and down like this. So I need to animate it right here. So that's the first animation with the And then it's going to zoom in a little bit. Okay. Just so we can see clearly. And then with the equisa, so this is where the animation actually ends. But with the to release the button what taco bujo. So I actually want to release it way sooner. So kind of like this. So this is where I need to press on the key on the keyframe so I'm going to and this is where I need to press on the key on the keyboard right here so I pressed it down and then so come keyframe if you want keyframe so so I'm gonna delay that a little bit of course so control C control V so let's watch that keep started so 
سو كثير سريعه رايت سو تايم تو اكشلي ميك ذس ا ليتل سلور سو هون حرجع شوي لورا بعدين حقربها شوي لهون سو ليتس كاونت ذا كي فريمز من بعضها سو 1 2 3 and 1 2 3 okay so if 3 frames let's see how that looks okay so the button now looks better it's 3 times slower now and نفس الشيء لهونيك so this is the first button press and then this is where i need to shoot the second one so i need to go back two frames so 1 2 and add this keyframe right here and then go 1 2 3 so I need to drag that out one keyframe bad and then that's Hone. And then this is where I need to copy this one, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and then this one, Ctrl C, go like this, one, two, three, and Ctrl V. So now I have the first one, the second one. And now time for the other one, which is the last one right here. So I'm going to drag this out, go to the last one. So this is where the track will start shooting. Shooting being shot out. So I'm gonna zoom in. So going back like this frame and then placing this keyframe. And then one, two, three. Take this, control C, control V, and then control C here. One, two, three, control V. And then all of these I just want to select them. See keyframe assistant, easy ease. So let's watch these. Perfect. Okay. Let's see as a... No, no, I forgot. Let's see as a... I'm pressing the button again. So pressing here, pressing here, pressing here again. Okay, so I'm not pressing again. Okay. So basically, we're done. Uh, yes, Christoph. Let me just uh, finish the... Let me just save and stop the recording and... I'll answer your question.